Hey everybody, Nate with the Scotty Woodsman here. Uh, today we're reviewing the Heritage Arms uh, Rough Rider uh, Single Action Revolver on uh, 22 Long Rifle. Um, these are getting to be quite popular these days. Um, this one actually I got a few years ago now um, from Cabela's uh, on Black Friday. And uh, I think it was right around $99. Um, you'll see them for that. Alright, we're just checking it right now. Set her at half cock to, uh, to free up the cylinder. Uh, this gun does have a, a safety on it. See, there's red for fire. And the way that works, let's see if we can get you to see. You can see the bar that move right below the firing pin. See how that went down? So that's a little physical block that blocks the hammer from the firing pin. Um, it kind of has the look of a of an old uh, Colt revolver. I kind of like that. Um, and they're cheap enough, guys. You can you can mess with them as far as uh, different grips. Or uh, another popular thing is to um, take the uh, the cylinder out and um, and kind of uh, you can polish it or do a couple other things so I'm gonna free up the cylinder it's on half cock I'm gonna pull out this pin and you can take out the cylinder um, so the cylinder that comes with it is for 22 long rifle and then for an additional 35 bucks I bought another cylinder that um, that's for 22 mag because I thought I needed it. I was like, I have to have 22 mag. Why not? You know. Um, truth be told, uh, out of this short barrel, it's four and three quarter inch. Um, the 22 mag is kind of loud. You you really need uh, some higher quality hearing protection when you shoot that. In my opinion, uh, especially if you're just plinking. Also, it, the ammo costs more. Um, this this is awesome. I mean, with a single action revolver, you can shoot all day uh, on the cheap. Uh, as far as um, it helps to open the loading gate to drop this back in. So, I mean, overall, what I've been using this for actually is probably more uh, when I do live trapping of pests. I do uh, possums, raccoons. I use it for dispatching animals. Um, and it, it's good for that. Um, this really could be an excellent choice for someone who does trapping. Um, also, like I said, it would be good for an economy plinker. Um, you know, that kind of thing. Um, you could take it backpack, uh, you know, uh, backpacking or camping, but don't expect this to uh, protect you in bear country. Um, it's probably a lot better options than a 22. Now, for accessories, I already showed you the uh, 22 mag cylinder I bought for it. I got this cheap belt at um, a flea market for like four dollars. I think it's funny because it says USA, but it uh, it's made in China, so that's kind of funny. Um, and then the uh, the holster, uh, this was made out of a place out of Texas. Um, I got that on eBay for about uh, about 20 bucks, I do believe. Um, so I'll set that aside. Uh, here's the box it came in. Made in USA, Heritage Manufacturing. I believe they're out of Miami, Florida. Um, and I still have some of the material. Now, of course, they're sponsored by Uncle Cy of um, Duck Dynasty. So, I mean, you, can't, you have to trust a product sponsored by Uncle Cy. So I thought that was pretty neat. Um, and actually, you can even see in the box, they have a hole. There's some combos that actually come with an additional uh, cylinder of 22 mag. Mine did not, but um, this, but some of them do. Um, as far as problems with the gun, uh, I can't complain too much. Now, I will say on the, uh, on the ejector tab, it's made out of plastic. And uh, I actually had it break on me once. And then I was carrying it all day yesterday. 
and it broke again on me. So I can still kind of get my fingernail in there. So, and what that entailed is I got a hold of Heritage through an email and told them I needed that part. Uh, it's actually not too hard to take this gun apart um, and change that out. And I believe it was like $13 for that piece. Um, it did take a long time to get here too. And actually the, uh, the 22 mag cylinder, um, I think they, they're in real high demand and they make them in batches. So that actually took a couple months to get here. Um, but I mean, 35 bucks, you can't go wrong. It is what it is. Um, and like I said, this was a $99 gun. Uh, the holster belt combo about thirty dollars, um, so they don't have much into it, and it's it's actually it fits in the hand really well uh, for a small frame gun. Um, I mean, you can't quite beat the price and the fun um, of a of a uh, single action revolver. It doesn't get much more American than that. Um, now it does actually say right on the barrel. Uh, keep an empty chamber under the hammer. So that's kind of just a common sense rule on old revolvers. Uh, you, you keep uh, actually five loaded and then you'd, you'd let your hammer rest on an empty cylinder. So when it bounces around it can't uh, uh, misfire, go off. Um, and that's despite that this one actually has a safety. But Heritage uh, still wants you to do that. So, I mean, common sense, people. Um, the best safety is between your ears. Um, so that's just a short and sweet review on that. Uh, I'm probably going to do a follow-up video on this one to try to resolve this uh, ejector tab thing. Uh, I remember if, before I fixed it the first time, I did see that someone was... Uh, Someone who had a job like at a CNC place, they were making their own tab out of like aluminum. And I just thought, wow, that's pretty neat. So it's been a couple years since that. So I got to wonder if uh, any company, aftermarket company, has come out with that or possibly even Heritage um, to, to better that problem. And part of the problem, I think, is actually, uh, you know, if you get too aggressive putting it into your holster. But I don't really feel like I've been like reefing on it. So... You know, I just would like that not to break. Um, as far as their lineup, and this was a 2016 one, and there's Uncle Sai again. Every page, as he should be. Um, you know, they have a lot in the 22 chambering, but then they have some big bores too. You know, and a lot of, you know, 44, uh, 45s, 357s. Um, and they actually have some of their own. Um, holsters and such and some accessories and let and here's some cool grips uh, I know a lot of guys I've seen they're making their own grips out of wood and this is a, a, a great inexpensive gun to do something like that with although I kind of like the ones that are on it I mean uh, for a black finish I really like that if it was nickel plated you I'd want white or black uh, for the grips but um, for this I like it the way it is, and I'm going to keep using it like I have been using it. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Click uh, like and click subscribe. Uh, hope to have you see the next videos. Bye.